Chris Demetrio came out to the Ithaca Studios for his third consecutive year. He took advantage of one of the two open studio weekends during the beginning of October. It kind of is amazing and surprising in a really great way how diverse the artists in Ithaca are. The diversity comes from the many styles that artists utilize. Some styles include oil paintings, wood and metal sculptures, and digitally layered images. Barbara Mink is an oil painter who has been on the trail for about 10 years. I'm here outside of Barbara Mink's studio in downtown Ithaca. She's one of 48 artists on the Greater Ithaca Art Trail. There are 47 different studios in the Ithaca area that community members can visit. Mink's studio has two rooms filled with her paintings. During her 15-year career, she has gone through various phases, including flowers and fruit. Banished Kingdoms is her current series, which visitors can check out at her studio. Mink says a highlight of the trail is interacting with visitors. I guess that's part of the point of art. It's not what I'm thinking of. It's what people see when they look at them. And that's always interesting. Acids, which would happen John outside. John Paul has similar experiences with visitors at his studio. He's a sculptor and painter who always enjoys talking with his guests. Each person viewing any piece of art, a painting or a sculpture, is participating in their own creative act. Program director Robin Schwartz says about 1,700 visitors took advantage of the open studio weekends. On average, they visited three or four studios. It's so much more interesting to meet the artist and talk to them and stand among all their work and see the process. So the community response has been great. Schwartz says visitors were not only from the Ithaca area. People traveled all the way from Rochester, New Jersey to take part in the event. Taylor Barker reporting from Ithaca.